Hello friends, welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Today we are into Excel Automation Chapter 12 and we are going to learn Filter Table or Filter Data Table. So these are very simple activities but again very critical to know how does that work. Myself Rakesh from Expo Hub. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and please do like the video and comment. Thank you very much. So let's get started. So here is my excel file where I have the data. So I have the product code, product name and price and in this data clock is the data which is a repeated data and I wanted to filter using UiPath. So let's see how to do that. So the very first thing is user excel application scope point to the file and then here if you type filter you will find something called filter table so this is from the excel the other one we will also see filter data table so let's start with filter table so once you drag and drop the filter table the first input will be your sheet sheet name so here my sheet name is product so i am entering the sheet name and it's asking for the table name for the table name what you do you generally select all your data and hit on control plus T so that is one way to convert your entire data to a table or else you can select that data I have already converted so insert and hit on table okay so this is another way to convert it to a table okay so once the table uh, is converted you will see table 1 is the name by default it will give a name you can give your own name so here the table name will be table 1 and it's asking for the column name where you want to apply the filter so here my column name is product name okay and then the very critical one is filter option okay so filter option is very simple to use all you have to do use curly braces all right and inside that what is that word you want to filter so here my word is clock let's say you have two three words to filter then put a comma and enter your second word right whatever it is so here for this example i'm taking just one word but that will be the format click ok so, so once you have set everything, let's run it. So you just saw it has filtered the data and only selected the clock. So this is one of the way. Now let's do the same thing using select data table. So select data table is another method to but it, it is more flexible so to use select data table one thing you need you need to read that data so for that you have to use the read range activity okay you have to use the read range activity and here mention your product uh, your sheet name okay and I want to read the entire range so once I read it I want to store the data let's say to a data table variable called sample dt all right once you do that here in the filter wizard once you drag and drop click on filter wizard and it's it's quite simple to use first you have to mention the input data table which is your sample data table and your output data table so output let me create one control plus k and you can use the filter dt or you can give a name here okay so that is my output data table now filter rows this we need to understand when i say keep right that means it is going to let's say the column name is what product so the column name is product name so here i am going to say product name okay contains or is equals to whatever you like so I will use contain so this is more flexible and here I will say let's say clock okay so keep row filtering mode keep product name con contains 
remove means you want to remove that set of data so i want to keep it okay now there is something called output column so in the output column columns select mode so in my sheet i have got code product name and price as three different columns so which are the columns you want to keep okay or which are the columns you want to mention by default i'll just remove i'll just leave it as is because i want all the columns to be there but again you can specify which are the columns that you would like to keep okay so i want only two columns or only i want one column this is something you can provide your selection column selection mode okay now let me click on okay so what would happen my output will be stored in filter data table for this let me use a right range activity and here in the right range let it write in sheet 1 and uh, you know um, the data should start from a1 and the data table to be used is filter dt and remember while using right range always select add header which is a best practice now let me run it so you just saw it has given me the required data let's say i want only code and product name but i don't need the price or let's say i want the product name a code and uh, any two columns i want so how to do that so mention uh, the column name the column is code and product name i want let me run it now you saw it has given me only two columns which i mentioned there code and product name so i hope you guys have a, got an understanding of what is a filter table and what is a filter data table thank you very much for watching this and please please do not forget to hit on the like and comment how did you feel about this video and how is this going to help you thank you very much have a wonderful day